So nothing will happen until Sergei walks down to the lower panel. Each side has its own little house. It's basically going to feel like we're riding a giant elevator. Strap around my wrist. So if you look in front of us, look at the blue and yellow motor boxes. Notice that there's a light lit on the inside part of the blue. That's indicating that the valves in front of us are closed, so it doesn't let any water pass through. When Sergei gets down there, he's going to look on the other side of the wall to make sure that there's no kayaks or canoeists, because when he starts to raise the valves, it creates four foot waves on the other side of that gate. So the lights just went out, indicating he's starting the process of raising the valves. The next thing you're going to see, on top of the motor boxes, there's a light tree. There's three lights in them, and it will tell us what position the valves are on. So, one-third, two-thirds, and then three-thirds, which is all the way open. First light just lit, indicating that the valves are a third of the way open, and if you look to the side, you can see we're starting our descent. So we're going to let up 2.5 million gallons of water, and that's going to be done in about 8 to 10 minutes. This is a 20-foot walk that we're going to be going down. Well, here we go. were created by the Chinese, but the Chinese didn't get it quite right. When they invented locks, they made the lock gate straight across, so you'd get about seven, six or seven feet to the bottom, and those gates would pop right open. So the Italians took over with the idea, and they made those gates wider than the opening, and they faced them upstream. They're in the shape of an inverted V. These are called miter V lock gates, and the man who invented them was Leonardo da Vinci. A little bit of history right there. You can get a good view of the ropes that are hanging down that I said were not historically correct. These ropes were installed in the 70s because the locks went from six lock operators to one. So there would be three operators on each wall and they would tend the lines of all the motors coming in. Obviously one guy can't do it all so they needed something for the boaters to do it themselves. So they came up with hanging the ropes inside the lock chamber. Now, we use a steel cable. There's one directly across from us that you can see. It's attached from the top to the bottom. You see there are indentations throughout the wall, staggered. Those are called Panama pins, and they are used by tugs and barges, anything of the larger capacity. They just drop their line on it and hold right steady to the wall. Yeah, and then 